Hi everyone, this is Shim Yi. Today we will present you our work and all the steps that we have followed to solve our selected issue. But first, let me introduce you my team. My team is composed of Young, Chong and Tim from the Pusa National University in Korea, Yas from Ensal Jadida and Sana from the National Higher School of Chemistry in Kenitra. We have selected the issue of inferred distribution of sheep feed in a barn. The sheep herder suffers from the lack of equivalent nutrition opportunities for all sheep. In order to solve the issue, we have to produce a design that makes the feed efficient and equal to all sheep. During concept design step, we have found the basic solution first, then improving it through online meetings and mentoring. After putting together our ideas, the final solution is as follows. For water, we provided automatic water supply by using a water pump and a pipe, using solar panel. For feed, we have made a container with barriers and automatic dispensers to distribute feed equally using a solar panel. We all know that sheep interfere with growth due to heat and humidity. To solve that problem, we decided to provide fans on the ceiling using convection system for air conditioning. Based on solution we found, we have prepared a 3D design of feed container with barriers, water tank, and the ceiling. For the electrical part, we work on three issues. First of all, we started with the distribution of feed by using several motors. So the shepherd have to put the feed on the hole, then press a button to put down the feed in an equal manner. This avoids the shepherd to come into the barn. For water, we will use an outsider drum that will fill up the water tank each time it's empty. Therefore, we will use a level sensor. When the water tank will be empty, the sensor will send a signal to the Arduino card that will give a sign in it to turn the pump to work. And when it will be full, the sensor will give a sign to the pump to turn off. Lastly, to regulate the temperature and humidity, we use sensors and four fans. When the temperature is more than 25 degrees, the fans will turn on. And as we know, hot air is less dense and lighter than cold air. Allowing it to rise above the heavier, the fans will work by convection system to make the barn colder. And finally, there is a solar panel that will energize all the components. Here is the code that we used in order to program the Arduino card. It contains variables, functions and some comments that will help you to understand some instructions. To produce the prototype, we purchased several materials like fans, grinder, welding machine, solar panel, etc. Then we started 3D printing, assembling, then testing the prototype until it worked successfully. This is the result of our work.